China's fast telescope has opened to the world. The radio telescope is the largest of its kind in the world. Scientists, domestic and foreign, can now submit applications to use it. Observations will start in August. The telescope has been operating since last year. It's discovered more than 300 pulsars, the spinning cores of dead stars. And joining me now from Beijing is Boyang Lu. He's a radio astronomer and a science writer. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the need for this, which I imagine was immense after the collapse of that Arecibo telescope in Puerto Rico last year. Just how important is this? Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, the FAST has te telescope is uh, currently the largest single dish radio telescope in the world. Uh, so. Before Arecibo collapse uh, cat cat catastrophically, um, actually there are two such kind of uh, t uh, telescopes, Arecibo and FAST. They are built in a natural depression to hold this very large antenna. Uh, but actually FAST has its uh, unique advantage that it uses a active surface that can uh, in that can transform into a uh, parabolic uh, surface uh, in a real time. To, that, that will give it give it a advantage in focusing into a single point. So, uh, so we don't need to use the very heavy uh, receiver cabin like Arecibo. Arecibo has a 300 tons uh, receiver cabin that's that's too heavy to to hold. So that's part of the reason that uh, to to cause its uh, tragic uh, collapse last year. So, uh, and we have a we actually we have. Uh, more than doubled the receiving area, so we have a, a much better sensitivity uh, on the fast uh, telescope. Yeah, uh, talk to us about the excitement surrounding this day, because I, I lifted a headline from Nature magazine from 2016, and it said, daring Chinese mm -hmm. telescope is poised to transform astronomy. So the anticipation for this has been growing for years mm -hmm. now. Uh, just give me a sense of your excitement and, and the people in your field, uh, just how excited are they? Yeah, uh, just you have mentioned that uh, FAST has already discovered more than uh, 300 pulses. Uh, and actually last year, uh, more than 70 or 80 percent of newly discovered, discovered pulses around the world are discovered by the FAST. And also FAST has also helped to uh, resolve a long-standing uh, question that what is uh, the so-called uh, fast radio uh, burst, FRB. So that is a mysterious uh, phenomenon happened in the very distant universe. Uh, so fast, fast has helped to solve this, this uh, problem. So now we know that uh, this kind of phenomenon, uh, part, uh, some, of, some of that comes from uh, so-called uh, magnetar, that is a uh, neutron star that has very strong magnetic field. And can you talk to us about uh, China's willingness to work with the rest of the world in this scientific research? They are making it available to other researchers from other countries. Yeah, actually astronomy is a very uh, open science that uh, encourages uh, collaboration from all over the world. And China has always been uh, very open in astronomy and physics and some other uh, sciences. Uh, so, uh, for example, uh, I was studying in the uh, International Center for Radio Astronomy Research in Western Australia. Uh, that's because uh, there will be a very large uh, telescope array built there called the uh, SKA, uh, Square Kilometer Array, and China was part of that uh, international collaboration. China has uh, about 10 percent of uh, contribution in budget and also in technology uh, in that project. And actually, we are uh, already contributing more uh, than 10% in technology, and uh, we hope to contribute more than 10% in science too after it's, uh, after it's uh, built. 